Hey, we're all going through shit. This is Lisa sharing life stories. How are you today, honey? Well, how are you? Oh, half dead, but that's okay. Did you go there, Columbus Zoo? Yeah. Was it one? What do they got different there than we have? It's at, one of the bigger zoos out there. Like, it's bigger than the Detroit Zoo. It's yeah. That is it nicer? It is. It's really big. It's really nice. I need to go. That's in Ohio, right? Uh -huh. All right. Check it out. Thank you. I appreciate you. She's a nice lady. See, if you treat people nice, sorry. They will treat you nice. Now, listen, you guys, just miss this. I have confrontations, I guess, every damn day. Because I'm not going to be, re I refuse to be treated like shit. The lady that was ringing me up, I go, I don't want to, I told her in the same breath, I said, don't, please, I don't want the renewal membership. She didn't even listen to me. She goes, do you want to renew your, I go, I just told you that. She goes, well, it's our job. I go, I get it, it's your job. I just don't want to hear that. Every time I come here, they're pushing you to spend money. I, they've been, okay, let's put it this way, you guys. They've been telling me about my renewal. It's at the end of May, okay? They've been telling me about that since February. That's ridiculous to, to bother somebody. She goes, well, then when it's, when it's over, you're going to say, nobody told me. I go, what are you talking about? I'm a grown adult, and I'm, I'm going to accept responsibility that I know when my membership's ended. It's got nothing to do with you, your company hounding me. I go, I get you got to say it because it's your job. But what I'm saying, she goes, well, if you would have listened to me, her register got skirt up. I go, who are you talking to? Why are you not nice? You don't talk to people like that. You're not my boss. If you would have listened to me. And then I got her boss over there and I go, look, I don't want the freak to get in trouble. I'm loading my truck up. I go, I don't want this freak to get in trouble. But she totally agreed with me. I go, look, if your company told you you have to do jumping jacks, jacks for each customer, I get that. You got to do what they tell you to do because it's your bitching job, right? Am I not right? Right. But if a customer says they're just sick of hearing it and she goes, I don't know why. If you just would have listened to me, you wouldn't hit the wrong button. You don't talk to people like that. You dumb bitch. You unhappy bitch. That's what I got to say about that. I go, listen, lady. You're pissing me off. So she went and got her manager lady. And a man manager lady totally agreed with me. She goes, we're going to talk to her. I go, tell her that, you know what? You shouldn't have to teach people how to be a freaking human being anymore. That lady's older than me. And she don't know how to be. That's what I'm talking about. What is wrong with everybody? Oh my God, these garbage bags are heavier than shit. Ooh, my husband's going to have to lift them. Oh, as soon as he sees these darn... I'm telling you, these apple turnovers for six bucks every week, there's something to get, I'm telling you. Your family will love them. I'm glad I got garbage bags. And I'm glad it's a different smell. It's lavender. I love lavender. But usually lavender is such a fake smelling lavender that I'm so cold. Don't like it, you know? But that's, that's my thing. Look. If your job says you got to tell every customer when they come in that they're beautiful, that's what you got to do. It's your job. I get that. But you don't have to talk to me like I'm a piece of shit. And then I had the condiment police on me. And I'm like, oh, how much stuff are you getting? Huh? I go, I'm buying food. Who in the hell are you? The condiment police? I go, I'll take what I want. Because I take extra forks and spoons because I go to work. I They have nothing there to use. I take a couple extra. It's not like a lot. I buy food from here every week at their deli thing, right? And I'm like, but it's none of your business. I go, go home and wash your ass. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm having it with people. People that are mean and jumping out, you're going to feel my wrath. Because that was none of their business. Take care of yourself. Worry about yourself. Why don't you worry about being nice to me? 
You don't know what, I, what I'm doing, who I am, what's going on. Instead, everybody wants to lash out and be right and be mean. That's what I feel that what America's turned to. People want to be right so bad, and they're mean, they're not nice, and they don't go about nothing right. I go, you're the condiment police. I go, I'm buying food here. Who the fuck are you? That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Don't let people treat you like garbage because you don't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. And the other ladies were just dying laughing. They're like, they were ridiculous to say that to you. One young girl that was way younger than me was her little baby. She goes, they were crazy. Why do I get the crazies? Does it say crazies come to me on my forehead? I don't know. I just want to be left alone and treated like a human when I go anywhere. And I and I and and if I'm getting this, you guys got to be getting this. And I just don't walk away from it. That's the difference. I don't walk away from it cuz I don't think that people should treat people like total asses. So, like and subscribe. I'm going to come back with some current events after some really good stuff. But this is just everyday stuff that we all experience, and there's no excuse for it. No excuse for it. No, none. The lady shouldn't have treated me like that at the register. And those people don't, it's none of their business what I'm doing. Now, I could see if I took the shit and threw it all over the floor or something, then yeah. But if I'm in my own business, it's none of your business what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah, there you go. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. Wow, what the lady bought one of them big hamburger meats. That's a good deal. But then you got to chop it up, you know, one of those big, huge rolls of hamburger meat. And then, you know, wrap it in tinfoil and put it in, in for individual meals. That's the way to go. I'm going to do that next time. Whew, these people had me wound up here today. They're just something else. All right, I'll come back later with some good current events. Like and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts about people, these companies on you to spend money, spend money. It gets aggravating. It gets aggravating for them to be constantly in your face. I'm not going to renew my membership till the time. Why am I going to give you money ahead of time for what? No, I don't think so. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day, and I'm going to make it worth your while when you come back. Bye.